Jesse Rogers uh, followed up with Boris this afternoon, by the way, and he was like, uh, Ricketts had said, I don't, I don't talk to Scott. One of his signature moves is to go talk to the owner. And basically, Boris fired back and was like, I don't know what he's talking about. That's a signature move of the owner to show that you're interested so I can go back to my client and tell them how much they want you. And by the way, last year you were totally involved when you wanted Cody Bellinger to come, so I don't know what, exactly what Tom's talking about. Don't get too excited about this. Specifically, these two comments from the two go back forth. It's a negotiation. Tom says yeah. it's not. It is right here. They've started right here. Yeah. It's a bickering negotiation back and forth. Yeah, I you mean. Look back to, you look back to Jed, right. too, last week, right? Like Jed's comments at the opening press conference, just same thing. It was um, maybe a little bit, like, not too revealing, but you read in between the lines, and it's kind of like it's. You know, it feels like a negotiating tactic trying to get – trying to get back some leverage. So I, I, I do kind of feel the same way about these two. Go ahead, Cody. Yeah, I was just going to say that, you know, the comments from Tom saying today that, you know, he like that Jed does his job and he doesn't get in the yeah. way of that basically saying he doesn't want to, what, what did he say? Uh, I don't want to, he doesn't under want to undermine, undermine yeah. the credibility of the GM. Like that's something that I've believed for a long time that, that he does well. Like, I, I really do believe that the, you know, specifically this off season, the reason that the off season has gone the way that it has is mainly on Jed and Carter. Um, I, and I still believe that even with, you know, Scott Boris firing back today, uh, because again, like you guys just confirmed or basically said um, that it's at the end of the day, it all is just a negotiating process. It is a, you know, taking shots at each other to get leverage, whatever, whatever they want to perceive to the public. It's all very annoying and it's all very frustrating. And it honestly, to people like me on the outside, none of it makes sense. Uh, we were at, we were, we were, uh, what, three days before the first three or four days until the first spring training game. Mm -hmm. And in the Cubs technically, according to like what we know at this point, still haven't offered a contract to Cody Bellinger because Scott Boris is trying to get him a contract that's believed to be over $200 million. I mean, this, like, I don't know who to blame at this point other than like all three of these people, Tom, Jed, Carter, and, and Scott Boris. There's, there, there's blame on all sides. Like this is bullshit, man. Like I, I don't know what else to say anymore about it. Like, what people want to say Boris is ruining the game. People want to say that Jed and Carter and Tom are being cheap. I, I at this point, at when it's almost March, oh, it's exhausting. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired, brother. Like that. That's where I'm at. It, do I believe that Cody Bellinger is worth over two hundred million dollars? No, I do not. Is it my money? No. So from a fan standpoint. I understand why people be, like have that mm -hmm. that that idea. At the same time, the the Cubs don't believe that they don't believe that that he is. And the thing is that makes them look smart in this is that no other team is willing to do this either. He would have already been off the market if he was. So exactly. maybe the Cubs are playing yeah. this right, and I believe that they are playing this right. But at the same time, it is very annoying and very frustrating and. It's day 142 of the Cody Bellinger free agency experience, guys, and I'm just, I got nothing for you, man. I'm just I'm just waiting. <laughs> I was going to say, because Luke, you asked that a few weeks ago, like, is Jed playing this whole thing right? You know, I, 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 on one of the shows, you asked that a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And, like, I think we sit here, and honestly, you know, my opinion, I think he is, right, because what Cody said, no other team has bit either. Or bit? Yeah, has bit either, right? Cody Bellinger is still a free agent. Anyone else that the Cubs may be targeting from Bo Scott Boris is still a free agent. Um, so I think right now we're sitting here. It's like, yeah, Jed's probably playing this right. Now, that can always change, right? That can change in two weeks when some team is, gives Cody Bellinger a $200-plus million contract, and then you're like, well, you know, they lost out on it, right? Like, th that can shift. And then it can shift six years from now when we're like, oh, Cody Bellinger actually didn't live up to the value of the contract, right? Like, it's – that, like that point of view can shift so often and, and so quickly and and it's 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 a fluid situation obviously when you look at it but I, I think if we're sitting here right now like yeah the front office has played this right because 
they're obviously not the only team unwilling to go up to Scott Boris's asking price. I, clearly, no team is willing to go up to Scott Boris's asking price right now. So I, I would say they, they have played it right, but, but again, that can shift. We all silly like the mayor. 